Beach, where Chelsea faced Brian Clough's Derby County. Both sides come to the game worried by injuries, particularly Chelsea, who have no fewer than seven of their first team squad out of action. Marvin Hinton now gets his first league game of the season at number six. A common factor between the clubs is that two of the brightest youngsters in the game anywhere, but both are banned by England for failing to go on the under-23 tour last summer. For Chelsea, of course, it's Alan Hudson, and for Derby County, their fine defender, Colin Todd. But Derby County also come without two excellent players in David Nish and Archie Gemmell. And they now bring back striker John O'Hare into a midfield position with Roger Davis getting one of his rare chances in the number nine shirt. So now the crowd at Stamford Bridge waits for... Hinton, not quite judging it, but recovering well enough and finding Hudson. But now Davis. They went and waited who's the throw it was, O'Hare goes through, and a rip deflection there. Unluckily for Chelsea, going Derby's way, and O'Hare, the scorer, with only eight minutes gone. Chelsea, in a sense, only themselves to blame, because they were prepared to argue about whose throw in it was, and while they argued, Davis took it, and the situation was always going away from Chelsea and towards O'Hare and Derby. So there's the score then, Derby County leading by a goal to nil. A touch of fluke about it, but Chelsea beginning to find some form now, and it needed a good header away by Webster. And then Hennessy, and he's claiming, first of all, that Harris kicked him, kicked him on the head, which he didn't, but he caught him in the chest, and he wanted to argue with uh, Harris and the referee about it. Much better let the referee do it himself. Todd also looks as though he's got uh, a cut on the nose, bleeding rather profusely there as Jimmy Gordon puts the wet sponge to work. A free kick. John McGovern. David Webb's free kick. Osgood going for it. And Osgood will keep it. Turning it nicely there for Ron Harris and inside again for Hollins. Oh, and he missed by a fraction. That would have been such a tremendous goal with Osgood and Harris combining so well and uh, Hollins surging as he does so often. Roy McFarland who scored six goals this season, you may depend uh, a good percentage of them have come from corner kicks. Here's Hinton then with the corner for Derby. But Chelsea going out there in tremendous weight of numbers, O'Hare turning it back again. And now McFarland and a good point black save by John Phillips from Roy McFarland. Hinton's going to take it, curling it again, and McFarlane was right in there, and Dempsey gets it away, but not very far, because O'Hare again is following up. Back once more for Hinton, and again a difficult-looking cross. Hector right in there! Kevin Hector! But it's been disallowed! Disallowed! There was an infringement there, and Derby, instead of being two goals up, remain one goal up, and Chelsea are still in the hunt, because referee Bill Gow has disallowed it. With combination of... McFarland and Todd and Hennessy. Osgood. Sent two men off. Balance there. And a beautiful ball for Baldwin. And a cross that is well held by Bolton. Some beautiful football there by Chelsea. Sparked off by Osgood and a destroying influence in an opposing penalty area, causing men to worry all the time. Britain a little touch forward for Osgood. And he's got it through. But Boyle will get another chance. Hudson. It has the ball taken off him by McFarlane, and McGovern is there. Bobbing into that little situation there. And onside! The linesman has kept his flag down. Now here's a chance for Roger Davis. He's gone past. Oh, and what a miss! That, unquestionably, is the miss of the season. The miss of the season for poor Roger Davis.
All he had to do is what I suppose 99% of the people in the crowd would say I could have done, and that was tap it into the goal. He'd done all the possible hard work, brilliantly rounded John Phillips, and then one little tap would have been enough, and that almost certainly would have been two points. Poor Roger Davis. If Chelsea won, Derby County won. Well, I mentioned earlier in the programme that England ban on two of the players out there yesterday, Alan Hudson and Colin Todd, and afterwards I had the chance to talk to them about it and ask them if they were still worried by the situation. Uh, I think it's forgotten now, you know. Uh, by you? Well, for, I'm sure Colin as well. As far as football's concerned, we got. To, if we think about that all the time, it yeah. uh, get on our, you know, nerves yeah. sort of thing, and we get, miss out on the games, the league matches. Yeah. It was clearly a big disappointment for you, Colin, but I mean, would you agree with Alan there? You yeah, I happen? think um, we've just got to keep playing as we are, like, you know, keep trying our hardest and um, hope that things turn for the better yeah. for us. I mean, if in fact you could turn the clock back those few months, would you still say you were too tired and not go on the tour? Um, well, it was a travelling that got me down more than anything else, you know, I wasn't tired through playing games and that was a travelling, like, and uh, never seen the wife or the kitty, so just decided to go away for a rest, like, you know. But would you do it again now? Yeah, knowing, I think I would do, yeah, happened. knowing what's happened. I, well, I, I think I always stick by me judgment, like, you know, and I would do it again. Has Sir Alf been in touch with you at all since then? Have you had any words at all? Not with me personally, like, you know, I don't know what's happened outside that. What about you, Alan? I mean, you didn't go because uh, you had your house to look after and your wife was expecting a baby. Uh, yeah. I mean, that... Uh, would you think that you were wrong to, uh, to put that first? Well, not really. At the time, I thought I did the right thing, and now when I look... Uh, my boy's three months old now, and when I look at him, I think if I, you know, if I had gone on tour, and you never know, anything might have happened. It, it, he could have been any differently. I, yeah. You know, I'd have kicked myself. So yeah. he's well, and that's the main thing, you know. Yeah. So you don't regret not what at all, happened? No. no. Are you still hopeful? About 74. Uh, I've got my fingers crossed. Yeah, but uh, can't I say no more than that, really. I you think know? a lot of people have. You hopeful too, Colin? Yeah, very hopeful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, another view on that uh, England ban of those two players, and a very forthright view indeed, comes of inevitably, I suough, from the Derby County manager Brian Clough. Well, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm certain it'll be put right. I don't think Sir Alf was here today. In fact, we haven't seen a lot of him all season. But I'm certain he gets reports about Colin Todd, and certainly gets reports about Young Hudson. And I'm absolutely equally certain that he will have them back in the squad as soon as he can. Well, so much.